Hey everybody, Adam Phillips here for Dynamite Entertainment, and I'm talking today with Anna Mia, who is the writer on the new uh, upcoming project, Betty Page, Alien Agenda, which looks very cool. I just got a chance to look at the art for the first issue and read the script real quick, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So um, Mia, if you could set things up for us a little bit to start with, that would be great. Yeah. Tell us a little about it. Um, so to start off with, I, uh, you know, I'm a cosplayer initially, and now I'm getting into comic writing, which is amazing. Um, and I'm loving getting to work with the Betty Page IP. They have created such an amazing, fun character, um, while also, you know, retaining this amazing sexiness that Betty Page has and always, you know, will for forever. Um, and uh, so it started off with her going after after Bigfoot in a one shot that I did uh, as a Kickstarter or Indiegogo with them. Uh -huh. um, and now we're doing this five issue series, which I'm incredibly excited about because um, yeah. as the title alludes, it is aliens. And I am a huge, um, you know, paranormal cryptozoologist enthusiast. Um, so it's, it's something that uh, I'm really excited to kind of bring to Betty Page and, and have her going investigating. And um, yeah, it's a fun adventure. So I'm excited for everyone to join awesome. it. That's very cool. And she's got uh, some assistants, some sidekicks to work with. So uh, that brings more depth to the project. Can you tell us a little about them? Yeah, so I brought in some new characters for Betty to, you know, work with on this adventure. And so you have Young Ja, uh, who is a uh, Korean American in the United States, uh, and and this is all set in the 1950s. So I really wanted to keep it consistent with like the time period and everything. Um, so she's coming in, and she's this brilliant mind who loves to solve puzzles and in fact has probably gotten herself into a little bit of uh trouble in the past with some of her her puzzle solving which has gotten her onto this team um and then you have sophia who um is a puerto rican uh intellectualite who uh is working at the university of washington and is brought in as kind of your uh, archaeologist expert and so um the three of them are going on this adventure and it's really fun because you get this interplay of three very different personalities working together so yeah yeah it's really cool and um you know that uh the rocket ship looks like uh you know something you, you almost out of the 1960s what era is it set in do we uh so it's 1958 oh, so there you go. It's a uh, one year after Roswell. Very cool. Yeah. Have you uh, explored places like that? Have you been to those sites? I haven't, but I've done a lot of research into them. Um, it's somewhere I'd really love to visit. Um, it's kind of on my places I want to go is Roswell. And then, you know, sneakily somewhere near Area 51, as close as I can get without getting myself into too much trouble. Nice. <laughs> uh, that let me ask you, as a cosplayer, um, is Betty Page sort of an icon to you? She really is. Um, so because of cosplay, I really got into pinup as well. Because, um, you know, it is a, this like getting to dress up and become another character. And, and with pinup, you get this idea of kind of like shedding any shyness and really becoming, you know, this this ideal picturesque woman um and so so getting to cosplay as betty was really inspirational um not only because of who she was as a person but also what she represents um and that is this like female empowerment and just owning yourself and your sexuality and it's one of those it's a great feeling getting to cosplay as her because you you take on this like brave personality that she has um and you know the self-confidence and uh it, it it's a really fun kind of personality to take on and then kind of incorporate into your life afterwards at least i'm hoping to <laughs> <laughs> very cool um tell if you could tell us a little more about the um like the tone of the series because it's an adventure obviously but i kind of assume it's going to be fun too yeah. 
So, I mean, I grew up in, you know, the 80s and the 90s. So I grew up on, you know, movies like Indiana Jones. And um, I really wanted to bring in, you know, kind of that same atmosphere of like an adventure story, kind of, you know, bring in aspects of the mummy and, and just have this really fun adventure where they're traveling to different locations. I wanted there to be kind of an interactive aspect where, uh, if you're reading along, you can actually try and solve some of the puzzles yourself. Oh, nice. um, so I want there to be this this fun interplay where you actually feel like you're going on the adventure with them while getting to know the characters um, and, you know, where they're coming from and and really just hoping to kind of bring a little Spielberg touch to <laughs> to this comic series. Yeah, fantastic. Well, Mia, it sounds like a huge amount of fun. I can't wait to read more of it. I appreciate your time. And hey, so everybody watching this, um, definitely stop by your local comic shop and let them know uh, which cover you like. Or if you want more than one cover, there's a bunch to choose from. They're all awesome. Uh, issue number one is coming in March. So uh, ordering and reserving your copy in advance definitely helps us to keep the series going and ensure that there are going to be more adventures uh, in the future. And Mia, we look forward to reading lots more from you. I'm really excited that you're getting a chance to spread your wings with uh, your writing gigs. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm really hoping this takes off and uh, I hope everyone enjoys the story as much as I enjoyed writing it. So Fantastic.